Redshirt, if you agree with the statement, transfer if you disagree with the statement. So the statement is again, Michael Penix Jr. will slow down on his uh, on his fast start. So to give context behind this, if you guys didn't know, Michael Penix Jr. just came off of a win against Arizona, 31-24. And he threw for 363 yards, still a 75% completion percentage, but he had no touchdowns in the air or on the ground. Hmm. And this is the first time he was sacked twice this season after coming off three games that he was not sacked. So what say you? Red well, shorter transfer. Looking at their schedule, they got probably what's going to be game of the week in Oregon, Washington on in a two weeks since they got the bye. Then you got Arizona State, Stanford, USC, Utah, and Oregon State. Mm -hmm. Oh, This is a good time for their bye, being honest here. Get a two weeks to prepare for a great team like Oregon. Yeah. Oh. Come back to me. I'm still... What do you think, Fisher? <laughs> uh, I'm going to red shirt. Uh, I, I think Michael Pinnish is still one of the best quarterbacks in the country, but he's already slowed down in the past two weeks, and they haven't played anybody. I mean, Arizona is the closest game they played, and it's Arizona in the Pac-12. I mean, I know we like Arizona more than a lot of people, but I think it will slow down. I mean, if you look at the – the numbers he put up in the first three games, it was over 450 yards, I think, almost every game or around that. Saying it'll slow down is not an insult to, to Penix or anything because he's still going to put up great numbers and everything. But I think it has to slow down when you get into conference play and you get into good defenses like Oregon, Utah. They play both of them. Um, Oregon State. Yeah. Yeah, another good defense. So, you know, that's three good defenses. That, uh, better that you, better defenses than he's played all year, so by far. So yeah. I think it has to slow down a little bit. And this is where my worry comes in for Washington because I've been saying for a while, I mean, it, Penix is one of my favorite quarterbacks in the country, and his team is amazing. I love the receiving core, but uh, I think it has to slow down. Slim said your your football knowledge is as doo-doo as LSU. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to, well, I'm going to halfway red shirt on this one. I'm a red shirt. I'm a red shirt this game and I'm a transfer the rest of the, the, the next two games. I know they're playing Oregon. Oh and, no, you can't do that. I know, man. Th yeah. Damn, I'm trying to be different. Nah, I'm a, I'm a red shirt. I'm a red shirt. Though. <laughs> that defeats the whole point I just said. I just said they go play defenses. What you mean? Yeah. <laughs> Well, the back half of their schedule is, is insane. USC, Utah, Oregon State, and Washington State. Utah, Oregon State, and Washington State have better defenses than what people give them credit for. Um, but they got to play Oregon this week. Does he take a stinker in this game? Who knows? But Oregon's, uh, Arizona State and Stanford and USC, they don't play too good of defenses outside of Arizona State. So... Uh, can we really say Arizona State plays good defense, or do they just have one really good player out there? Um, I'm gonna say transfer because I think. Oh uh, no, nah, I'm gonna say redshirt because I think most of the time he's going to, he's gonna look. I don't want to say mediocre, but he's not gonna look like he did in the first couple of games for sure. Hayden, I was. I'm gonna. I'm redshirting as well here. I, looking at it, you're coming off your bye week for the as of right now. This could change after this week. The yeah. number eight ranked pass defense <laughs> starting off in Oregon, and then you got Oregon State, you got Utah, who have both of them have very good defenses. I I think he's still gonna be like put up good numbers, but not the numbers he was putting up in the first half. Yeah, just to give you some some context here for everybody. One yard shot of 2,000 yards, which is first in the country. 16 pass touchdowns, which is tied second. Two interceptions, 91.6 completion percentage, or not completion percentage, QBR, which is third in the country. So, I mean, even off of that, 
mediocre game. He's still he's still lighting it up. I mean, 75% completion percentage, throwing 40 passes last week. I mean, he's still getting a lot of love from the offensive coordinator. So.